It's time for the Wiggly Adventures of the Amateur Sommelier. Delicious. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is the Amateur Sommelier, and I'm feisty and crazy, and I need a drink, even though I literally feel like I'm dying. So, Santiana, Rusty Tractor Vineyards. What vintage is this? What are you? I don't know. It doesn't say. We'll find out. Local wine from Arkansas. I had someone lovingly pick this up for me. You know who you are. If you don't, don't know. I'm going to tell you. I really don't. Ooh. Kind of looks like a Pinot Noir. Wow, that's really light color. Brand. I know what I'm saying. It's like a garnet. On the rim. Actually, that's core. Just kidding. Oh my gosh. See, I can't even think straight. The rim is kind of like a yellow. Yeah. Yellow garnet. I'm a little worried. It smells okay. Smells are probably leading to saving. It's. It's kind of earthy. It's not really like a black pepper, but it's kind of an earthiness to it. Kind of like a tannin grape skin going on. Maybe like a very, very subtle hint of cocoa bean. Very unusual. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. I would say the acidity and the tannin are at best medium, but they are well balanced. Good news. You get a little bit of the cocoa bean when you start swishing around your mouth. When you go to swallow, you get spice. It's, it's a lighter wine. It says it's completely dry. I say this is kind of not semi-sweet, but not totally dry. It's very, very interesting. It's quite... It's not a steak wine, which is unfortunately what I'm doing it with. This would probably be something... Kind of spaghetti meatball tier, bolognese tier. This is not very steak wine tier, lamb tier. I didn't even get lamb. I was so sad I couldn't find lamb. So, oh well. It simply is what it is. Unfortunate. I know. Oh well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Get to enjoy. Leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. And, yeah, I'm going to make this work. Good night, everybody.